What's up YouTube, this is Madcock83. Since there's been a lot of changes with Minecraft, this new launcher, and the new DNS installer, I'm going to go ahead and do an updated install video for the DNS Tech Pack for 162 and on. Uh, this should be the installer for the foreseeable future with some minor changes which shouldn't change the install procedure. We're going to cover three different things here. We're going to do an install using the installer, another install manually if the installer doesn't work for you, and then I'm going to show you how to update when a new update comes out for the pack so you can at least save some of your worlds or data or have a whole new folder entirely. We'll get to that later. On the screen you should see the list that I just explained and there will be annotations so I would suggest watch the whole thing so you know all this if not if you're just looking for a certain part click the annotation to skip to it let's go ahead and get started what we're gonna do is install the current version which is 502 and then I have version 503 which is not released yet as of recording this video but will be in a couple of days and this will go ahead and show you how to do the update um, We'll start Minecraft as normal. So far, all I've done is installed. I deleted everything in my .minecraft, which I suggest you do. Get to your .minecraft, which is which I create a uh, desktop shortcut. But if you don't know how to do that, which I really hope you do, it's two percent signs. App data in, in the middle, and you get to it. That's where your .minecraft is. Delete all this stuff in here start minecraft let it download all new fresh stuff so right now this is a vanilla copy of minecraft <clears throat> uh... i've already done it i think i've already started a world i have to start a world that's fine um, we'll go ahead and install the first version using the installer you won't have that folder in the download um, i hope you don't just click the installer. This will come up. Uh, you can leave all this stuff right here alone unless you just know what you want to do. Click install. Okay, I made a boo-boo on that one, which is a good point. Minecraft has updated to 164, so when I started it and got that uh, little message to at least we'll run 162 once. Do this before you start it. Go in here and you should have your pro profile selected. Select edit and go down here and use version 162 if you're using the 162 pack, which I am sure you are because you're in the 164 yet. I save that. Let it run once. Boom. Close it out. Now, now you can run the installer. This will take a second, you'll get a message that pops that says please wait while downloading Forge Libs. This may take some time. Uh, Forge has been overwhelmed with the amount of times that its libraries have been downloaded. That's what Lib stands for. So we've done something to kind of help that along so the download may be a little slower. If you want you can click that and once it's completed it will go ahead and finish the install. And there you have it, it's finished installing. Um, you can close that out, start up Minecraft. And before you do anything, look down here at your profile, and you should have a new profile. It's going to ask you if you want to log in using the same one you logged in for vanilla Minecraft. You just say yes. And before you start it, edit, edit this profile. And if you get a crash or something like that I would suggest clicking that and keep launcher open because it'll show you uh, console what's going on while you're installing it and right here we've left it uh, standard with one gig I would at least go to two I personally use three but and which seems to be more than enough but I would at least bump it up to two if you have the resources if not of course you can leave it at one or whatever and then go ahead and start it and I'll come back once all this stuff finishes. And there we have it. It finished up. And as you see, since I changed that, 
we get the console that stays up and tells us all the good stuff that's going on and we have DNS 502 installed now we'll go back and do a manual install now I don't even have to delete the other version to go ahead and do this manual install but in the download when you open up the zip you'll get something just like this and in that extra folders you're gonna find the version of Forge we're using you can just drag that to your desktop there she be right there and just so you know the extra has uh, the change log and the credits list and pack list and everything in their URLs it'll take you straight to all the info you need um, go ahead and click click on the Forge installer and just click OK Forge 859 successfully installed uh, that may take it a little longer since it's kind of already installed but anyway just do that stuff uh, open up your dot minecraft again go to your dot minecraft and open back up the where the installer is click on this pack folder and open up this pack zip you're going to have a 2dns and 2 minecraft and a version dot json don't worry about that one just open up the 2dns grab all that stuff and just drop it right on top of your dot minecraft if it has to move and replace just say yes or merge or any of that stuff and you can close all this out and start up minecraft now when you start up minecraft this time if you were doing a manual install and the installer didn't work you wouldn't have this dns tech pack blah 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 you would just have a your uh, username profile and forge just click on forge say ok and start minecraft that's it that's the manual install uh, I don't have a Mac or Linux so I really can't explain to you definitely how it works uh, but if you're using Linux I assume you know enough about computers to figure that out one thing I will tell you there's a mod in there called Pinnacle Craft go ahead and take that out because it doesn't work on Linux um, as far as Mac do your extracts and copy stuff over however Mac lets you do it and it should work just fine if you click play that's the manual install. We won't go through that one. What we are going to do next is the update. Uh, this would be how you would install an update. Let's say you've already installed 502. 503 should come out Monday or Wednesday. Uh, you want to go ahead and install that one. You can do this one of two ways. Go to your <coughs> excuse me. Go to your dot Minecraft before you start playing. Open up this dot DNS. In your roamings folder, same place the Minecraft one is, and delete all this stuff. The only thing you can, I would say, go ahead and leave is your saves. Uh, so we'll go ahead and do it much. Just leave the saves folder, delete everything else, and run the new installer. That's 503. And of course, it'll do its thing again. And let's see here what it'll do inside this dot DNS will go ahead and replace it with all the new stuff once it gets done with forge see there's all the new stuff for version 503 and the installer is finished we can close that out oh not install again close and close and if we go to minecraft we should have a new profile that says 503 of course again go through here and change anything that needs to be changed uh, bump your gigs up if you want if not don't even worry about it uh, the second way you can do this let me see something real quick you can get this off the screen uh, start the launcher and right here where it says mod pack install directory I'm just going to type 503 behind it and click install. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Even the forge is already installed, we can do it this way. Uh, basically, you would start up 503 and not delete anything. And this, what this will do will create a separate directory for the new version of the pack. 
So once the installer is finished, you can click that. You can go back to your .minecraft, and you should have a new .dns 503. So when you start up the launcher, click OK and all that stuff. Go to 503, Edit Profile, and now it's in a separate section. The only thing you would need to do from the previous version would be click DNS and copy those saves and put them in this folder. That'll bring your world from version 502 over to 503. And you can continue doing this with every version of the pack and really you'll keep every version of the pack on your computer. I don't really see the point in doing that since we update so much. I would say uh, once we update to let's say like the day after tomorrow or tomorrow we'll update to 503 I would do it this way so you have the new version but some servers or maybe maybe uh, maybe you want to get on one of your friend's servers who hasn't updated yet you can keep that old version and go back to it and get a hop on the server or maybe our version isn't very stable and we're gonna do a quick one you could at least and it's broken or god you know god forbid it's torn up you would at least have the old version of the pack on there and you could keep playing while we fix stuff. Uh, I hope this was easy to follow. I know that was a lot of information in here. Uh, comment down and you know put some comments under the video. I'll try to answer them. Of course you can always reach us in the IRC. Plenty of good guys over there will help you figure out how to install it if this doesn't work. Uh, we also have a team speak. You can jump in there and talk to us if we happen to be there. Uh, again, I appreciate you watching. This is Madcock83. Have a good day.